Morning YouTube, Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Saturday, April 13th, 2024. And what a day it was yesterday. There was excitement and then there was disappointment and we wound up right about in the back in the same place. Okay, we've got gold at, uh, it was down uh, 28.50 yesterday, closing at 23.4390. And silver down 44 cents uh, back to 27.84. Let's take a minute and look at the charts and see uh, what what is going on here. So as you know, we uh, got about 10 cents uh, short of $30, which uh, I was saying is going to be substantial resistance. I thought we would bounce off that. I hoped that we would go through it, but I thought that we would bounce off that. And we did, and we got um, definitely pushed back very hard. There was lots of buying in the morning, and then there was at least double that amount of selling in the afternoon. Um, lately, I think the short sellers are, are taking more of a one-day scalp approach to their shorts. Now, this could continue on until Monday, or this could be the end of it. But you can see down from 29.90 all the way to 27.85, substantial move down and a fairly large difference from the 20-day moving average. Uh, we could have a little scare back down to $27, but I think we are uh, entering back into a buy zone. If you've still got some money left and you're looking to accumulate, I think you could start accumulating again in silver and gold. I'm not going to do gold, but uh, you know, definitely they knocked the top off gold, and it's a much better deal today. Most things are cheaper. Okay, looking at the GSR. Um, we were at 82, pushing lower uh, in the morning, and then by the end of the day, we were back to uh, 83.90. So once again, we've got a range of uh, 82 up to 90, and we could see that uh, GSR push up a little bit, maybe Monday morning. I don't know, but the move could continue. I would not get discouraged. <clears throat> in the 10-year category, we had the 10-year back down closer to that 4.5 level. That seems to kind of be a magnet these days, but it was trading much higher um, early, uh, yesterday and then came back down. So now we are at 4.518 on the 10-year treasury. There was some, uh, some news about a failed U.S. auction, so you can look into that. If, you'd, uh, if you think rates are going to go higher as a result of that, that could be a headwind for gold and maybe silver. And then the dollar also incredibly strong at 106.01. But let's not ignore what happened in the stock market yesterday. We had a 500-point sell-off. Uh, in the Dow, and uh, everybody was getting shaken out of the markets. Um, the Dow clearly um, having a lot of trouble. The stock market's having a lot of trouble right now. Looks like the top is in, but uh, what do I know? It may not be. This could just be a small correction, but I think we could go from 5% down to 10% down easily, and that can drag metals down. But uh, unless we get something bigger than 10%, I don't think it will keep metals down. So Monday will be interesting, especially if there is no um, Iran um, attack on Israel or the United States. That story seems to have been front-loaded, and a lot of the movement uh, in the market seems to have been related to that uh, geopolitical risk, which could totally blow over by Monday. Or it could get worse, and then gold would pop again, and we could be off to the races. All right, we have got copper at 4.32, so nothing wrong with industrial metals. They are still moving, and silver has a large industrial component and deficits in the, uh, in the physical market on the industrial side. So we've got that backwind. Do not get discouraged. Uh, we looked at the chart. Now let's look at the deals, and there are better deals today. Okay, in the 110th Eagle category, we've got bold precious metals at uh, 264.92. I won't do all of the metals. We'll go right to the uh, one-ounce Eagle. There it is, best deal on monument metals. 
at 2,396.42, gold under 2,400. And of course, you can hold out for those Costco deals if they come out for the maple, the eagle, or even the buffalo. Maybe we'll get one of those, and maybe the prices will be lower. All right, if you're looking for a Britannia, we have a sale on Britannias over at Monument Metals, 2,418. Point forty two, and the Kruger and will usually be your best choice for the cheapest sovereign gold. Great price here at two thousand three sixty seven point seventy at bullion exchanges, and not much over spot for that Kruger and if you need to buy. But I think we can get it much cheaper on eBay if you want to stick around till later in the video. We've got the spot deals. Um, if you're brand new, check out all the spot deals on my website. The website is bestsilvergolddeals.com and I update that every day by 6 a.m. Pacific. And there are lots of ways to save money on precious metals on the website. There are well over 400 people subscribed to my alerts now. Join the community. Get on the chat board. Let us know what you're thinking. Uh, we've got um, 20 franc coins. We have got this uh, dragon bar here. Golden assay, gold at spot. We have got the uh, platinum, uh, platinum eagles, but those are for collectors. And one of the cheaper ways to get platinum is in the Platinum Noble. That is currently 1093.99. Platinum is very strong here, even though um, it may have gotten pushed back yesterday. And palladium is also a play if you're interested, 1162.49 for a random palladium bar. Okay, and in the Eagle category, Bullion Exchanges has one at spot, and we have Bullion Exchanges uh, for the other 19, 33.18. Best price overall is over at Pinehurst Coins in a quantity of 20, 32.35, but we beat the heck out of that on eBay using our credit cards. And then we've got lightly used uh, Eagles, which are back in stock at 31.95. Those will probably come in a flip and could have toning or dings, not sure. My yellow light is on, but I'm getting more excited about buying as we have the retracement that I think we need to strengthen the chart to push us back up to 30. Just like gold took four tries at 2,000 before it busted through, silver is going to keep making passes at 30 here. I do not think this is the old day. Uh, like uh, we saw in the silver squeeze where they push it back and it keeps going all the way back down to 20. I think we are in a bull market and I think we need a little retracement backing and filling catch back up to the moving averages and then make another run on silver. So uh, that's what I think is happening and we are entering a buy zone again. We've got one maple at spot at bullion exchanges but the best price for 20 is 31.17 at hero. Okay and then you'll have so similar prices probably under 31 on most of the sovereign one ounce coins. Uh, this one is 30 even for the Philharmonic. Great deal over there at Golden Eagle on Phil harmonics. Okay, and the two ounce uh, baby mama kangaroo, if you're into that, decent price on that. Costco deals, none this morning. And in the bullion category, you can get junk at uh, 21.15 times face. If you want to know how to calculate that, it's really simple. 715.715 is your number. So 21.15, this is really easy. Um, um, time, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, clear, uh, one more time, 21.15, in this case, if you want to get to um, what they're charging you, you divide by 0.715, this always works, and what you're paying here is 29.58, um, that is about a dollar fifty over spot. You can get better deals over at the uh, coin shops on YouTube that I recommend, and uh, also on eBay using your credit card. But you're paying 29.50 basically if you pick up this deal. A little bit cheaper for a hundred dollar bag, and the Kennedys are just a hair more if you like some nice, uh, beautiful. Um, uh, pre-65 Kennedys, um, probably about $1.50 over spot as well. In the bar category, we've got the spot deals. Do not overlook those. Even if you're not brand new to some of those websites, if you haven't bought for a year or more, you'll probably get that spot deal. I don't think they check those that closely. JM Bullion has got these uh, beautiful, um, uh, what do they call these, uh, buffalo bars because there is a buffalo on the back 
and uh, Silvertown Buffaloes, uh, 298.60 for that $10 bar. Various other deals on $10 bars. Best price on a one ounce buffalo, which I would pick over the 10 ounce bars, is 29.44 over at Kazoo Bullion. And we can beat that. Uh, there's a Mustang round and there's an Indian round here that's even cheaper. Bullion exchanges 581.20 for a tube of 20, puts you at 29.06 for one ounce rounds, but again, we can beat that on eBay. Kazoo, uh, three ounce bar is under 30 bucks an ounce. Uh, this one here, which I like, uh, Golden Eagle, uh, 303.60 this morning. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, 308, 308.60. Okay, but that was um, 320 the other day. We've got a nice Silvertown bar. We've got these trapezoidal bars. Uh, vintage uh, Sunshine Mint Bars at Bullion Exchanges, even cheaper today, $29.07. Um, but uh, hopefully you wouldn't get the one that's all banged up and dinged up. I don't know what you'll get, but I might try that. And I would probably tell them, don't tell me, don't send me an old beat up bar. I want one that's shiny and beautiful. Okay, we're on eBay here where you can find better deals on everything. So on the Silver Eagle category, um, we have got $6.45, well, $10 shipping, $6.55 for a tube of Eagles. So if we do the $6.55, and we divide by 20 and we take use our PayPal credit card, which is the primary credit card I recommend. Um, I got hard to talk and multiply at the same time. Divided by 20 equals, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, 645 divided by 20 equals, and then we multiply that times 0.97 if you have that PayPal card. You can get these at 31.28 for this tube. Uh, very, very nice. They'll send it right away, and the PayPal credits come back right away. Uh, here is another tube for 656 if you want a bigger dealer. And here is an e, uh, even better deal at 640. Uh, this would be very cheap. Uh, tube of 20. They do mention they could have toning, so but probably not. So uh, BGASC 640. Why do you want to pay more? Use your credit card and get Eagles cheap. Eagles are really catching a bid these days. In the maple category, we've got 25 maples at 778. And we've got Britannias, 25 Britannias at 813. Um, I won't stop and do the math. You can do the math. In the kangaroo category, we have got 778. Whoa, 778. What were the Britannias? 813. That price may have changed. Okay, well, we got to do the math on the kangaroos here. Wow. Uh, 778. 778 divided by 25 times 0.97 equals 30 bucks. 30 bucks for a kangaroo. 30.18. Very nice. Uh, Krugerands are 7.75, and if you're looking for junk, okay, here is the cheapest junk. Uh, you can get $10 face for 2.15. You want to do the math on that? It would be 2.15. Um, um, time uh, divided by point seven one five. So on eBay, you're getting junk for $300. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 21 point, let me do it again. Uh, I got to slow down. Uh, 21.5 times face. 21.5 uh, divided by 0.715 gives you your spot equivalent. That's 30 times face. Well, that's still, uh, no, that's actually not as good as uh, some of the other deals. So, uh, um, that's thirty dollars, and spot is uh, spot is twenty seven eight. Yeah, no, that's like two dollars overall. So eBay is not the better deal today on junk because um, I think we were at twenty one something. Well, actually, we were at twenty one something at the retailers. And um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I got lost. Now I got lost. Um, just a second. Where are we? So back to this deal. You are at 21.5. Um, 
minus, oh, I didn't do the minus 3%. So you'd be at 64 cents, you'd be at 65 cents off. Um, so you'd be at 20.5. Oh, there's my number, 20.5. So it would be cheaper than the dealers. Um, sorry about that. Okay, if you're looking for vintage bars, uh, what do we got here? Um, vintage kilos, we've got uh, 946 in minus 3%. We'll get you a kilo if you're looking for big silver. And we've still got the Coke bars. Here is the best deal for uh, one ounce bars, 2948. And I see you guys snapped up that uh, under spot uh, deal on eBay yesterday for those 80 silver rounds. Congrats to those of you that got those. Sometimes uh, sellers make mistakes, especially when spot moves so quickly. But by the end of the day, you paid over spot. So I don't know. Early bird sometimes uh, gets the rotten worm. But uh, here we go, nine, uh, twenty-nine forty-eight, and take three percent off. You'd be at ninety dollars off. You'd be at uh, twenty-eight sixty. So you'd be twenty-eight sixty. You'd be about a dollar over spot, beating all the dealer uh, other. Uh, normal dealers deals. Okay, on a lot of 20, you can get a lot of 20 for 5.97 minus your 3%. And uh, what else do we got? Okay, in the 1 10th gold category, I've reformatted this a little bit because um, you may not just want the eagle. So if you look at this from uh, top to bottom, you'll see the cheapest 1 10th gold, starting with the Krugerrand at 265, and then get uh, uh, eight bucks off on that. You'd be at 250. Seven and uh, so you know you wouldn't be much uh, over spot there on a one tenth Krugerrand, but if you want to upgrade all the way to uh, a an Eagle, you're going to pay two seventy one. So now you can see kind of the differential on those if you're interested in buying in the quarter ounce gold category. The differential is crazy um, from six oh two. Uh, here are um, some random generic gold coins, secondary market six fifteen minus your three percent. And if you want to find an eagle, well, look how much more expensive the eagles are. This is why I do not recommend quarter ounce eagles. Um, you'll take a bigger haircut between the buy and the sell on the quarter ounce eagles. But I understand some preppers really want uh, sovereign gold. Um, so where is it? See, we're still going, still going. And you can judge which one is more expensive and which is less expensive and pick the coin you want. We are still not at um, the quarter ounce eagle. There's one, six fifty-five. Okay, so do you want to pay six fifty-five for a quarter ounce of gold, or do you want to pay six oh two? I don't know about this sovereign. I do not think that that is a quarter ounce. Uh, uh, is it a quarter ounce? No, it's not. Okay, they lied. Okay, do not buy from the seller. That's a 0.354, so skip that. But uh, here is the next best uh, quarter ounce. One quarter gram? No. you, you got to be a little discriminating here. Um, okay, $600 for a quarter ounce. Six fifteen for a big seller. So, you know, six fifty or six fifteen. you pick. Um, what you want to spend for gold. Uh, same thing for the one ounce gold. I've done the same thing. So you can get a Krugerrand for $2,400 or you can pay, keep going, keep going, looking for the Eagles, uh, or you can pay $2,423 for an American Eagle. So $23 more. You decide what you want in your quarter ounce gold. In the commemoratives, $5 commemoratives, I've done the same thing here. Cheapest is $574.71 over at BGASC, a little less than a quarter ounce of gold there. Um, and pick up a $5 commemorative, which I highly recommend. In the 20 franc category, the best deal today is the uh, Helvetica $450 minus your credit card rebates. We've got the Platinum Noble on eBay at 1081. Uh, take 40 bucks off. You'll be at about 1040, only about 40 bucks over spot. If you like platinum, I do like platinum here. Palladium, uh, I put the auctions in here because I would not buy a buy it now a palladium deal. Um, they're going for about 17, 1800, but I would uh, I would bid for one of those. I would not do a buy it now if you have to have palladium. Uh, here's some stuff in my store. If you like something in my store, then.
then uh, just send me a message through eBay. Contact me and ask for a friend discount. I've got Zombuck's World uh, sets going here. And uh, I've got the Freya 2-ounce coin and some kilos um, and some other stuff. And, uh, you know, ask me for a discount if you like anything in my store. Trying to make some more bars this weekend if I can find time. Found about 100 ounces of shot that I'm going to start pouring. But, oh man, that takes some time. If you'd like to save more than 3% on the PayPal card, the eBay card is 3.33% cash back after you spend $1,000. The Appmex card does not work on precious metals on eBay. Might work if you use it through PayPal. I haven't tried that. But it does work at the grocery store, so you get 3%. This costs nothing. You get $200 back, and you get a 3% off on every grocery store visit and also other retailers. So, you know, that might be a Chewy, for example, or um, uh, might even work on Amazon, etc. cetera. Uh, it does work on Amazon, actually. Um, so uh, check that out, and uh, it's, a good, it's a good credit card. I use that for uh, my grocery shopping. Okay, here's my number one credit card pick. It is the PayPal card. 3% off on PayPal for everything. 2% off everywhere else in the world. Um, and uh, should be your go-to card, I think. And the credits come immediately, which I really like. I'm really kind of disgusted with the Capital One uh, Quicksilver card. Um, that, uh, you know, and even some of the Rakuten stuff. Um, because these credits just don't show up for too long. And then you don't get the money for even longer. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm zeroing back in on PayPal. Now this also works at the U.S. Mint if you buy coins there. And it also works on Walmart. Okay, So 3% off on Walmart works for precious metals. The only thing better would be the 5% Walmart uh, Capital One card. Here are the spot deals. And uh, let's see. What can you get? Uh, 100 ounce bar for at Bullion Exchanges. 28.92. Um, so, a little over a dollar over spot, excuse me, pardon me, um, and uh, we still have the, pardon me, I got the hiccups, uh, we've got the BU 1922 to 1935 um, peace dollar at 32.99 for one, those are just beautiful and uh, worthy of being anyone's in anyone's collection. Okay, I like this British bar. It is at 304.73 over at Hero Bullion. In the one ounce round category, Kazoo Bullion has still got a really good deal. Um, and uh, this uh, stackable buffalo at Monument is now 29.66. I do like those. They're Silvertown buffaloes and they stack. The Mustang uh, round is still very cheap at about uh, 29.25 uh, each. And uh, in the uh, chat, um, a friend of mine posted a picture of those. I think, um, or maybe he sent it to my email. But uh, anyway, uh, those look very nice. They're actually reverse proof. And I'll try to put a picture of those on the website. And what else we got in the general generic manufacturer of choice, 2960 over at Golden Eagle. And we've got these um, Golden State Mint bars, 30.29 for a one ounce bar. Here are the three coin shops I recommend. Here's a sponsor of my website, newretirement.com. Try them, you'll like them, and you'll help out my channel quite a bit. And take the free trial, and then uh, I think you'll like it, and then subscribe. Just a little more than $100 a year to plan your retirement like a pro. You don't have to pay anybody, just Plan your own retirement, guys. Okay, here's the Gixxon Sniper Tool. It's glitching on me lately. I don't know if it's working for you. And we've got other spot deals. Um, here's the Capital One card. This works for precious metals on Walmart. So pick that up and uh, shop on Walmart for everything. And uh, don't let them charge you sales tax. Here's the Quicksilver card, which I'm kind of mad at because I don't see any of the money showing up in my account. Um, but uh, theoretically, 1.5% cash back everywhere um, and a $200 bonus for signing up. And then kicker deals, which uh, can go up to 10%. But uh, I just, I don't know, I'm losing faith in that card. Okay, and here's what they're paying for Silver Eagle. Let's see what they're paying for Silver Eagles. What are they paying today? Uh, they're paying $29.82. So they are paying... Um, Oh, about a dollar fifty over spot. Look at this, twenty-five point eighty-seven for random year. 
what are they paying? 25, 20, 28.57 with spot at uh, what they call, they're paying 50 cents over for Silver Eagles. Uh, spot is not actually 28, it's more like 20. Look at this, 2807 they think the ask is, and the real ask is 2784. Pretty big spread there, but um, uh, now I'm going to be lost. Um, so, uh, you know what? You won't be sell selling your Silver Eagles to uh, JM Bullion, will you? But the coin shops are paying uh, like two two fifty dollars over. Oh, man, I got totally lost. Um, one second. So, uh, sell to your coin shop. Don't sell to JM Bullion. They must have more than they need, and which is kind of contrary to the story that's going around that uh, the U.S. Mint has curtailed production. I think they have, but because uh, uh, why? You know why would uh, why would Janet Yellen be in China telling them, hey, don't use so much silver, and and she was actually telling them, hey, don't be dumping your cheap products all across the world. You're exporting deflation. Why we wouldn't want that? I don't know because we have inflation and China's trying to export deflation. So it seems like that would be a good thing. You know, they're trying to spur their economy and selling cheap crap. Uh, not the silver panels are crap, so uh, that's why they're doing it. But she might be worried about the silver supply. I think that is very possible. And uh, why she's over there telling them not to flood the market with cheap goods. It could be something about their currency that they don't like. It could be that they don't like them using up and buying up all the silver. We still have China paying more for silver. Um, on their side, then we pay for it here, and then the arbitrage going on between West and East, sucking up all our silver. So a lot of lot of stories, a lot of stories there. Okay, and in the chat room, let's see. You know, we were disappointed yesterday, but uh, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on here, and like I said, I thought it would bounce off thirty. I'm just gonna see if we have a picture of those uh, of those Mustang rounds. Uh, are those them? What are these? Mail call. What is this? Oh, those are the, there we go. There's the Britannias, uh, the one tenth Britannias, and that deal is long gone. Um, and those of you that picked up a few dozen of those one tenth Britannias, uh, let me download that. Um, boy, good for you. You got a smoking deal on platinum. Good for you. Um, who? That's Matthew. Good for you, Matthew. Uh, I want to see if I can find those buffaloes. Uh, maybe he posted it on my website. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't find it. it may have been in an email. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, you know there was excitement, there was disappointment, all in one day. It was a crazy damn day, and uh, you know, as I said, I was selling a little bit towards the top. Um, but, uh, you know, not a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, waiting for retracement. I did uh, sell some silver miners towards the top and uh, uh, buying back uh, here as we have a fall in silver miners. We could see continued retracement. I mean, who, who knows what will happen in the market? But um, do we get a chart here? Uh, who knows what will happen in the market? I mean, but that was a hell of a smackdown from thirty bucks to twenty seven eighty over a two dollar smackdown in one day. I mean, if we get another fifty cents dollar dollar fifty smackdown tomorrow uh, Monday, I think everybody's going to be buying silver. So don't get discouraged, and hopefully you have some money left. And uh, I think it'd be okay to do some shopping today. But those of you that want to wait for lower prices on Monday, I completely understand. That's all I have for you. I'll be back with a long-form video a little later. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and get everything your heart desires. I will see you guys uh, in a little bit. Bye now.